Hello, it's me, BB Rock, as uh, per usual. And that's never really going to change. I don't know why I keep introducing myself. It's, I'm still BB Rock. It's going to be a while until the brain slug takes over, so unfortunately I have to uh, say I'm still BB Rock. So let's just get into the thick of it, shall we? This is the A to the Q's. You know what I mean? This is the my A to your Q. Oh, by the way, sorry this has taken so long. Uh, you know the old uh, saying, spring cleaning? It's the most literal thing I've ever heard because as soon as like spring sprung up, I've been cleaning my house, my aunt's house, my dad's house, nonstop. It's been a clean fest. Yeah. Max Bob asks, have you ever thought of doing Let's Plays other than live streams? And would you recommend YouTube to voice actors? I've been thinking about this a lot, a lot, a lot, because I focus really hard on my Twitch, but I almost never focus on, on YouTube exclusive videos. Uh, I, I, I get Humble Bundle monthly, and I don't play those games, and I really want to. So I'm thinking, what I was thinking is that every time I get Humble Bundle monthly, I was going to spend some amount of time doing a video for every game I got in Humble Bundle monthly if I'm not going to be playing it on stream. Uh, then there's games I can't play, but I really want to play, but I can't play them on stream because they're adult or something like, for example, Honey Pop. I really wanted to play Honey Pop. Um, so spooky games, uh, monthly bundle games I'm thinking of doing, just like little short installments. So yeah, I'm definitely thinking about it. Would I recommend YouTube to voice actors? Of course. I mean, I would recommend YouTube to anybody who has a creative side. Just put stuff out there, you know? You might be afraid, but you'll never know how big of a hit you are until you try, you know? Kenneth Francis asks, what were my inspirations for being a YouTuber? I, I kind of delved a little bit into this question uh, back in my Q old other Q&As. Um, I have three, I want to say, major inspirations as far as YouTube and just entertainment in general goes. When I f knew I really wanted to do YouTube and, and videos on YouTube or anything like that, skits, it was when I was play playing. <laughs> It was when I was watching uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway. I remember when Whose Line came on every day, I was just watching it a lot, and then I started to get really into it, like really into it. And it just made me really happy, and when I... Well, I remember we used to play the games together, me and my friends, and I thought I just really enjoyed it myself. And I think it was then I know I wanted to do something on YouTube, I guess. That's where I, I first start with, started with YouTube. Um, um, it all petted out for a while because I couldn't find anybody I wanted to do it with, and then I discovered Game Grumps. And people were talking about it, so I went to go watch it, and it was really funny. Really, really funny, and I loved the idea of them commenting on video games. Really into video games. I was playing video games every day, and I was like, I could just do this, what I do now, regularly, but on camera, you know? And I tried to do that, but what I wanted to do was something with a friend, but nobody wanted to do it with me because nobody really, none of my friends just wanted to do it. So I chickened out and I ended up not doing that. And then you're gonna call me, you guys are gonna call me a fangirl and I swear I will just wrestle, I will wrestle you. I discovered Markiplier a year ago. It was probably then I really thought it was, it was possible to do a video with one person commentating, you know. I went on Twitch, we tried a few times, a couple trial runs. Uh, I didn't get many people right off the bat. I think one of the first games I played was uh, Metroid Fusion, I think? Pokemon. Pokemon Crystal and Metroid Fusion were the first two I played. I started with those and not many people came, but then we did Spyro and some people came. Sly Cooper and some people came. And then uh, just recently it's gotten even bigger and I'm having the most fun I think I've had in years. In years. And I will never ever go back. Lily Swift asks, can I ask you a question? I don't know. Can ya? <laughs> Revy is best pony asks, Do you and your twin sister have any secret twin powers? Like, when you study for a test, do you only study half and <laughs> she studies the other half, but you can hear each other's thoughts and get 100% on the test? Uh, truthfully, this is a question I get asked a lot, a lot, a lot. So, usually when people find out I'm a twin, they're like, What do you have secret powers? And, honestly, I really, I gotta clear the air here right now. I mean, Honestly, yes. Yes, we do. Rusty Ace asks, Well, where's the Catherine? P.S. I ain't dead. P.S.S. I'm still your oldest fan. That's true. You've been around since, I think I had like 70, maybe less than that. You've been around for a very long time. For that, I'm extremely, <laughs> extremely grateful that you've been around that long. It really means a lot to me. And I hope, I hope you stick around because you to me.
Uh, Catherine. I would love to play Catherine. Sometime. Later. Later. Eventually! Shay Pink Ninja asks. I don't know what to comment. Send help, please! Here he comes! 911! 911! Hello, Shake Pin Shay Pink Ninja needs assistance right away. My phone's not even open. This is the most realistic phone call. Hello? Shay Pink Ninja needs help because they don't know what to comment. Okay, I'll tell them. They're on their way! Just hold on! Don't die! <laughs> Chibi Wibby says, I have a question. It's a little personal, so if you don't want to answer, that's okay. Did you ever have problems with love? Like, you had liked someone, told them they like you back, but only to break your heart? Oh my fucking god, so sad. Anyway, another one that's not depressing. How would you feel if Marco Blair had come to your live stream, but you never knew until he told you? Hmm? Um, to the first question, um... I guess, I mean, if we're gonna get all deep and personal here, um, when I broke up with my boyfriend, uh, my ex-boyfriend now, it took a long time to even feel remotely better. Um, so I guess, yeah, it, it's not in the same context as you, uh, as you wrote, but I, it's the only time I ever really, you know, if you want to call it problems with love, but, uh, it was a pretty rough time for me, so. I'm great now, I mean, like, we're, we're good friends, everything turned out great. How would I feel if Markiplier was in my live stream and he didn't tell me? Well, honestly, I'd be a little embarrassed because we talk, we make jokes about it all the time. Um, but honestly, I would just say uh, thank you so much for coming and I hope you had a really good time. But this goes to anybody, um, anybody who comes to the stream. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming and I hope you had a really fantastic time and had a good laugh, you know? And I think, you know what? You're gonna have a good time. You can have a good time, you come to my stream, okay? We're gonna make a spaghetti, it's gonna be good, okay? Vincent Vega says, Dope hoodie, Nintendo, PlayStation, or Sega? g Hawk or Guac, as I call him, but I, I'm not sure if that's right. And then I asked, and he said either's right, but now I'm not sure. Guac says, PC or console? d Sun Foley asks, PS4, Xbox One, or PC? Edgar Bushy asks, What game console do you play often, and do you play Xbox 360? I am a humongous Nintendo fangirl. Everybody in my stream knows this. I just gush about Nintendo all the time. Some of my favorite games are Mario, Metroid, Animal Crossing, Zelda, Pokemon. I just love Nintendo. I really do. Um, so, but actually when I was growing up, one of the one consoles I had that I played more than anything and had more games for was the PlayStation 2. So it's really hard for me to decide what console, what the console races, you know, that I like the most. And I only just started playing PC games, like, in the last couple of years. I didn't get a lot of PC games when I was a kid, so. And then recently, I don't play Xbox 360 much, unless it's to play Minecraft with my niece. That's about it. I don't own any consoles. The only console I own to myself, it's not even really a console, it's my, my pink 3DS. I had to add pink, it was very essential. Um, I got a lot of games for my 3DS. But that's like the only game console I had. I used to play a lot more on Wii U. We had PS4, PS3, we had the Sega Genesis, Dreamcast, we had almost every console you could pretty much think of, besides, I guess, pre-80s, but um, that's all at my, my sister's house, and since I moved back in, in, in October, I don't play console much anymore, and it's really regretful, because every day I wake up and think, today, today is a good day to play Mario Kart 8, but I can't, or Splatoon, and I can't, so. Strahinia Dulanovic, Dulanov, Straw, Straw asks, when are you going to do a podcast with belly -chan? Your belly fans are waiting. Uh, for those of you who don't know who belly -chan is, Pondering Pandering Belly is my other half, I guess you would say. The other half to my stream. Everybody comes to my stream just for belly. And I'm just there just, you know, as a secondary backup. If In case uh, people don't get enough belly, they can just talk to me as a side person. It would be a lot of fun because we just we just hit it off like crazy. We're really, really, really compatible with each other as far as conversation goes. So it would be a really fun thing. It's just all about being busy, both of us, you know, so I don't know, is the qu answer to your question that's really up to Belly, I guess, it's up to Belly there, I've done it, I've given the answer the go Belly, answer the question oh, it has to be Belly uh, I don't know I got stuff to do I'm way too popular and cool for you guys I don't want my hair stuff oh my god, I'll see you guys later though I'm too busy making games and being rich see you later, bye See, I don't know, you know, she might be a little bit busy being rich and famous, so we'll see. Sammy Court asks, why are you so awesome? 
and Kenneth Jackson Jr. asks, why are you so cool? Uh, I'm not. It's actually really easy to make people believe you're cool when you try to, you, you pretend you're cool, and then people think, she's cool. She's probably really cool, but I'm not. I'm really lame. I'm super lame. I'm the biggest weeb in the world. I like the, I, I like the animes. I like the animes so much. And I like the video games. And I like puppy dogs. I'm a big lame -o. I'm not that cool, I swear. <laughs> Can't the anime kissy cutie poopy dooby. Well, <laughs> I'm really lame. James Raymond asks, do you have a job or are you streaming full time? Uh, yes I know. The last job I really had was Victoria's Secret. In case you guys didn't know, I worked at Victoria's Secret. It's a wonderful place full of wonderful people, at least the store I worked at. And I don't mean to, to like, you know, I'm not trying to promote Victoria's Secret, but it's a wonderful workplace, a wonderful environment, and I really loved it there. Anyway, my point is, I worked at Victoria's Secret, but after that, um, I've been doing, and before that too, and all the way through it, I've been doing artwork commissions, and that's my main source of income, along with now, I can actually kind of say streaming has helped me um, as far as income because I get quite a few people donating to me and I am incredibly, incredibly happy because it means that you guys really truly believe in me and like me and that means a lot to me, a lot. Thank you so much. It does. It really does. Thank you. Um, but besides the streaming, I do artwork commissions. Um, I haven't been doing them as much recently because of how busy I am with the stream. So I guess to answer your question, yes and no. Um, it's not like a retail job or a traditional job, but I do work. I do have a job outside of streaming. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I'm self-employed, son. Pandering Berita asks... Two questions. Do you think you can imitate the gumball dirt face? Um, wait, hold on. It was at this side, right? <laughs> oh, it was more teeth to it, so it was like... <laughs> uh, yes? No. Maybe. That's up to you to decide. That's your call. <laughs> and you're approached by a popular Japanese animation team to lead the three episode OVA of any show you want, be it Kiss X Lemon or even Rebel Prince. Oh. <laughs> what studio would you want to work with? And could you pitch us a really quick, quick synopsis of how you want the three episodes to go? <gasps> this is a really good question. This is really good. Um, there's lots of really good animation um, companies, but there's one that really sticks out in my brain more than all the others. More than all of them combined. No, wait, there's two. Shit! Okay, so the first one being, um, there's an animation uh, company that did some of the animation, the animatic sequences for Naruto back um, pre-Shippuden. Mainly the scene that I'm thinking of is the scene that Rock Lee fights Gara. It was wonderfully animated, beautifully simple, and just gorgeous. That's what- Oh no, I'm thinking of three now! Oh no, this is too hard! So it's gotta be between them. You guys remember the Digimon movie? The one where they go onto the internet and fight, uh... It wasn't Kokomon, it was, uh... Dioboramon. Uh, that one had really good animation. Summer Wars, they also did. That was really, really good. But the third one I was thinking of, the th third one, third one, is honestly, um, if you guys have ever seen uh, Devil Man, the 80s OVA, amazing animation, beautiful, simple, it's just that, that simple but really highly f high frame rate animation that I just absolutely adore. So this is a hard one. I, if I had to choose, it'd probably be the, the Naruto one, because that one I'm just super, super in love with. It's, it doesn't look like they, they cut any corners with it. It's, it's so good. It's, it's so good. I guess I would go for that one. Um, and as far as an OVA goes, I, I don't know, I haven't thought about it in a long time. Um, one of them I really like is this, like, desert assassin sort of idea, and I'd probably, I'd probably do that one. This guy, he, he would go around killing all these, not killing, but avenging his mother, and every single one of the guys he'd fight has a part of his mother, like, like a dried up arm or like a cremated leg or something like that and it's a little bit morbid but um i think it would really work well with that animation because there's like kind of like fight scene stuff going on um yeah i guess it would be that underfield 2 asks did you buy many baguettes as i wish please say bonjour to le monde de suis bibe et oh my god i can't speak french oh no uh faq for your favorite French guy and my viewers. That was really butchered. Please, 
correct me. I don't know. I know some pronunciations. I'm not a very good French speaker at all. At all. I'm sorry. I bought at least seven baguettes. At least. And I ate them all in one go. It was, it was like this. <laughs> Anthony Shorey asks, Beebs! Hi! Do you plan to get a P.O. box or whatever? Mm, no, no, no. I don't get enough people asking, so to open up a P.O. box and to pay for it and to not have it have any action. Um, if I get to a, well, let's see, like maybe like 8,000 subscribers, something like that, something in that range. Whoa. 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 The police got back. They're coming. D -d -d Shay, are you okay? <laughs> maybe like 8,000 subscribers, maybe into the 10,000s when people are more asking for it which would be so cool like i mean to get people sending me stuff you know just to read out loud or like doing an unboxing email video that would be amazing that'd be so much fun but until i get more people asking i can't just open it and pay for it just for one or two things it's just it's not practical you know what i mean so it's gonna be a while it i'll probably do it at some point because it would be a lot of fun but it's gonna have to be a while so i guess that answers your question gotcha Seika asks, could I take the trash out? Do it yourself, you slug. You're not a slug. Thanks for finding the tablet for me. That was real nice. Thanks, Nate. I got no good answer for this. <laughs> Slurms Mackenzie. My man called me. So you want to know if I was eating dinner? I said no. Go back to your kitchen. <laughs> Just kidding. Shuka asks, when is your and Belly's wedding? I'm never gonna get married. Ever, ever, ever. Ever. I guess that's it. Micah a ferret asks, quick, B, make nom noms. What the heck are nom noms? Noob versus gaming slash slash noobs gfx says, uh, read this comment. These aren't bad words. Sha oh, I'm gonna say this in the most American way I can. Shallon Hashem Shelley who Bib Rock V Annie YouTuber it. Uh, translation to English. Hello, my name is Bib Rock and I'm a YouTuber. Yay! <laughs> oh, you know, you know, I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not I don't know if I'd call myself a YouTuber. I'd be like you know want to be YouTuber, but we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with it for now. We're gonna roll. It's gonna roll. Maker asked, did you miss me, the maker? Of course. How could I ever forget your Ash and Pikachu and Professor Oak being covered by Pikachu icon? I could not. Ever. <laughs> Lester asks, who is your favorite? Is it me? Of course. Red Panda Rocks asks, by the way, it's Ninja Panda. <laughs> that must be an add-on. <laughs> uh, the answer to your question is, by the way, it's BB Rock. Dean's Tunes asks, what is the meaning of life? Honestly, uh, I was gonna fuck around and make a joke about this, but I think the meaning of life is just to pursue your own happiness. You live once, you die, and you rot in the ground. So, before all that shit goes down, you should really just go out and make yourself happy. Don't, don't, uh, let people tell you what to do, to make money in a job that you don't like, hanging out with people you don't like, just to get some other means. Just do what makes you truly happy. Pursue a hobby that makes you happy. I almost said hobbit because hobby and hab happy mixed together just made me want to say hobbit. This is getting silly now. <laughs> and you should honestly go out and make other people feel happy too because I don't know, for some reason it just feels really good and you should, you should do it. I think having a really good time with your life and just doing what makes you happy. Don't second guess yourself. Don't second guess anything you want to do. Because that's what I did with YouTube for a long time. I just thought, no one's going to like me. No one, I'm not going to have the energy. I'm not going to go through with it. And I really regret having second-guessed myself. And I wish I'd just done it. Because I am really, really happy now. Happier than I've been in years. Years. So, if there's anything you want to do, just do it. Just do it. The meaning of life is to be happy. And to make others happy. So, get the heck on it! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Ow. Sweet Swag 76. That was a tongue twister. Sweet Swag 76. 
<laughs> I dare you guys to say that, not giggle. That's a good name. Sweet Swag, Swag, Sweet Swag, Sweat, Sweet Swag76 asks, what's your goal subs, or what would I be happy with? Um, okay, so secretly I'd like to get to a million. That's my long-term goal. A million subscribers is probably what I would be really excited about. Like, I think I can get to that point. Go big or go home, you know what I mean? I think someday we'll get there. But honestly, right now, uh, I'm happy with 10 people, 20 people, f and 5 people. If I had that many, I'd be excited that at least that many people were watching, and I'm making that many people happy. The smallest number, it, it doesn't matter, you know? If you're making someone happy, it makes me feel good, and uh, that's all I care about. It really is. So, it's not the end goal, it's not the amount of people you have, it's, uh, it's just making someone, just one person, happy. Creeper Galaxy and Explosive Cat asks, uh, what made me start Twitch? Twitch.com, not Twitching. I've known about Twitch for a few years. My friend Seika, he used to watch Minecraft videos on there, and I thought, this is pretty cool. People get to be, it's, it was like YouTube, but you know, live. And, um, I guess I really started getting into it about, G like, one year ago, January, maybe December, something like that. Because, well, first, my, my, my friend John was like, he was pushing me for it. He was like, you know, I know I watch Twitch. I think it'd be really cool if you were on Twitch. You should go for it. And so I think he's my biggest inspiration as far as Twitch goes. I mean, he got me started and he got me all these this equipment. I would be nothing without John. He is a fantastic human being. Anyway, he got me into it first and foremost and, and got my, my feet off the ground, you know. And there was a point where I wanted to start going more toward YouTube. And my friend Trevor said to just stay on Twitch because I think you have a better knack for just talking out loud in a live scenario. And honestly, I think I do. So I guess the things that really made me start Twitch was my friend John and my friend Trevor. I owe them a lot, like a lot. Jokesior223 says, Hey, Bibi, I have been working on my song. What song type would you like to hear the most? Dance, slow, rock, etc. Still loving your vids. Oh, thank you so much. Or parody. Um, goodness gracious. Jokes are thank you so very much. It means a lot to me. And the idea, I'm, I love music, so I wish I could make my own music. Something short, energetic, and maybe midi-ish. Like, I'm kind of thinking something along the lines of uh, John Tron opening, but not quite that long. Do you know what I mean? Just something like a little jingle, you know? I think that'd be really adorable. That's what I want. That's what I want. I want it on my table tomorrow, on my desk, ASAP, 1 p.m. a.m. tomorrow morning. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about anymore. But you're gonna get your twenty dollars. Here's your twenty dollars. You want your twenty dollars for that song? Here it is. Take it. It's yours. Panda Kitty 101 uh, says, "Hi, do you have an Xbox 360? I do, but I don't play it uh, very often because we don't have very many games. I think it's Xbox or you know Xbox for the Xbox. It's my favorite game, Xbox. Minecraft for the Xbox. Uh, if not, it's okay. And I love you. And how are you doing? Pretty, by the way. I'm a girl. I love you so much as a friend." Oh, thank you so very much, Panda Kitty. And I love you too, platonically, of course. Thank you. Challenge Master asks, how many gamers have I dated? I've only had one real boyfriend, really, and he was a gamer, so I guess one. And honestly, to be fair, I probably would not want to date anybody who did not like to play video games. Although, what classifies as a gamer, anyway? Like, do you have to play games a certain amount of hours or something like that? Or a certain amount of games? Red Panda Rocks asks, BB, could you try a not to laugh video? If so, could you watch Undertale and try not to laugh part two? Uh, sure. I'll do that in another video, but I'll definitely try it. Justin Herrera asks, let's just say you do consider making a Minecraft server. When would you do it, and how would you become a staff member on it? Because I would like the honor of being a staff member. Um, right now, when we do Minecraft, it's all been on my friend Gasson's server. Um, he recently has not been able to pay for it, which I need to do, because that's tomorrow. <laughs> I offered to pay to run that channel. Even though I'm going to be paying for it, it will still be his channel. Server, I should say. I don't know why I'm, keep, I'm saying channel. It would still be his server. So it would be up to him. If you want to join us, I this goes to everybody. We play Minecraft on Mondays, every Monday of every week. And on my channel, over on twitch.com slash bbrock, or twitch.tv twitch slash bbrock slash channel slash I don't fucking remember <laughs> that's where we do it every Monday for like five or six hours that's when we can play I got the burps you ever just like you know, glitches <laughs> but you can't like you can't like go in and full scratch it because you're gonna rip it off right so like you just gotta like you, gotta... you ever do that me neither finesse M asks 
Have you ever seen a dead person in real life? When was the last time you peed your pants? What age and what happens? Be honest. Uh, if you had to live on the moon or on Mars, your choice will be. Uh, to answer the first part, have I seen a dead person? Um, I went to a funeral once. Uh, when was the last time I peed my pants and what age, uh, what happened? Be honest? There was one time I was at my friend's birthday party and we were laughing really hard. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. We put a plastic bag over <laughs> my friend's head and we lifted it up. So she had like pig nose and it was so hilarious. But I had to pee really bad because I was laughing so hard and I ran to the bathroom. But my friend got there before me because she had to pee. And yeah, anyway. Uh, going to the next question. Uh, if you had to live on Mars or the moon, my choice would be probably Mars. Mars? Probably Mars because it's so much more like Earth's atmosphere than the moon is. I think it would be easier to, to sustain my life on Mars than it would be to sustain it on the moon. So, I guess Mars. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video, and I, I hope you had fun with it. I'm, I know I had a lot of fun, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, I'll catch you later and whatever. What am I? Well, I have a like a signature sign off now. It's like a jump at the nut, and then I burp, but I don't have a burp coming on, so maybe I could wait. <laughs> nah, it's not gonna come. I'll just. Oh, you know what? You know, it'd be brilliant. I'm gonna add it on, and this is real. So thank you so much for coming to me. Bye!